another testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? This has been a round of the century. I was not supposed to win this. So now you guys are listening because we did win. And I can glorify God the way I want to glorify him. Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. Uh, it is good to be back. We're going to have a fun show today. Uh, Usyk says he wants to fight Wilder next, and he's going to be in the Barclays for the uh, Wilder versus Hellenius fight. Um, so we want to get into that. Before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, please follow 3D Box, 3D Boxing Blog, on all forms of social media. Uh, also, please uh, follow the, the other channel, Texas Boxing, the scene completely dedicated to Texas uh, boxing, um, all proceeds from that channel go to autism research and recovery. So I do want to get into this, right? Um, I definitely do want to get into this. Um, Usyk, um, unified heavyweight champ, um, says, you know, he's not, uh, I'm reading it, I'm not pissed off at all, uh, you know, over that Fury may skip him to fight Joshua, Usyk said. The bigger problem is Tyson Fury is not letting fans see one of the best historical bouts in boxing history. That's his fault, not mine, so I'm not pissed off at all. Tyson Fury can fight whoever he wants to fight. Um, and he's right. Tyson Fury can fight whoever he wants to fight. Um, you know, the, the commissions are going to – the sanctioning bodies are going to allow this. You know, they're not going to strip him. They're not going to make him fake mandatory. He, he can fight Joshua coming off back-to-back losses what it is um but it's a duck right like can we just be honest it's a duck right why is he fighting a guy coming off back-to-back losses it's a duck you know he, fury had all the energy in the world deontay wilder send me the contract send it i'll sign it and fax it back joshua send me the contract i'll sign it and send it back Usyk, well, you know, I'm retired, but, you know, maybe if you give me $500 million, then maybe I'll consider fighting him. I don't really know right now. Make me a good offer. Um, and, uh, you know, come on. He's not fighting Usyk because he can't beat Usyk. Usyk, though, Usyk is a fighting champion. Um, U- Usyk doesn't care who it is. Usyk's a warrior, man. Usyk will fight anybody. And you're seeing that now. Uh, Usyk's not going to get... Um, Fury. All right, let Wilder let Wilder win, and then I'll fight him. Let Wilder show that he still got it, and then I'll fight him. Fury wants to fight Joshua on a losing streak. I mean, you, you see the difference here, right? Usyk's like, I, I want to fight Fury. It's been one of the great fights in the history of boxing. It's an important fight for everyone, for for, for Usyk, for Fury, for fight fans, for the heavyweight division, for, for everyone. Fury doesn't want it. Okay. I'll go to the U.S. and fight Wilder. That's, that's, that's the next best man, right? So, you know, this is an interesting fight. And I got in a big argument with Ness over this back when uh, Usyk was a cruiserweight. <clears throat> I said Usyk would beat Wilder. It's not an issue. It's not an issue. I think Usyk beats Wilder. Um, I think Usyk is one of the best guys to fight in the heavyweight division. Now, he's not going to have the, the, the resume. He's not going to have compiled the wins to be a top 10 heavyweight, right? When you look back on it, you, when you when you build this resume, he's not going to, when, you, when, when you're done, you look back at the resume he's built. I mean, he's not, it's not a top 10 resume. But are there 10 heavyweights in the history of the sport that could beat Alexander Usyk? No. Nah. <laughs> no, nah, nothing like that. Um, but he, we can see that the fighting spirit. Okay, Fury doesn't want it. I'll fight the next guy. You know, I'll fight the next guy. And, and, and that's what we're getting. Um, now, let's just hope Wilder. I, I, I don't think Wilder's going to be shot. I, I think Wilder will do just fine with Hellenius. But Hellenius is a respectable challenge, right? Like, Hellenius isn't a pushover by any means. He also definitely should not win the fight, right? Like, he should get iced. He's like he's 6'7", 250. He's rugged. He is 38 years old. Um, but he should get stopped uh, by Wilder. If Wilder is any version of himself, he should fight Wilder. I mean, Wilder should, should finish him. If Wilder's any version of himself, Wilder should finish um 
Hellenius relatively quickly. Remember, Hellenius is a guy that got stopped by Gerald Washington. You know, he, he he went the distance with Dillian White, got outclassed, right? Uh, do a pie. He lost to do a pie. I mean, look, I, I'm not saying he's a scrub. He's not a scrub. He's not a scrub. But he's also not a premier elite level heavyweight. So Wilder should, if, if Wilder is any version of himself, should beat him. So he should look impressive in doing it. And and we should get Wilder and Hellenius. We should get uh, Usyk and Wilder next. We, sh- you know, look, it's up to Usyk now, right? Like, like Usyk wants to be undisputed. Fury's not going to fight him. Just be real. He's not going to fight him. So he's going to have some choices here. He can retire or he can just fight the next best guy up for a while. I, I, honestly, I, I think he's going to try to fight Wilder next. When he beats Wilder, he's going to try to fight uh, Fury again. Like that's that's what we're looking at, right? And if Fury doesn't fight him, he's done. So I, I think there's one or two fights left for Usyk. He is 35, right? I think there's Wilder. You know, we'll call that March, and then later quarter three, quarter four of 2022, 2023. I mean, you know, so basically a year from now, Fury, and and those are the two fights he has left. If he wins those two fights. Where does he rank all time amongst heavyweights? Is it top ten? The resume is not there, but two wins over Joshua, a win over Wilder, a win over Fury, plus a win over Tuzora. You got a win over Blue as a cruiserweight. You know, um, it, it's a really good resume, but it's not an all time great resume for a heavyweight. Now, as a cruiserweight, he, he's already got a claim as the greatest cruiserweight of all time. It's between him and Holyfield. That's it. I would say it's Usyk, right? So he, he already has that. And then the question becomes, who ranks higher all the time? Him or Holyfield? Well, Holyfield had a lot more fights. So um, it's a really good question, though. It's a really, really good question. And that's the resume that Usyk has built in a relatively short time. In a relatively short time, Usyk has gone, um, in, you know, in, in short order through the cruiserweight division. And now he's going through the heavyweight division, and he's two fights away from having this really, really, really good heavyweight resume that includes Wilder, Fury, and Anthony Joshua times two. He's only in his 20th fight. He's at 20 fights. That's all he's had is 20 fights. That's a pretty impressive resume for 20 fights what he has so far. You know, 22 fights, he could have an all-time great re- resume, you know, between his, what he did as a cruiserweight and as a heavyweight. Uh, so that's really impressive stuff by Usyk. Um, and again, I, I'm liking what I'm seeing from Usyk. I mean, he, he seems to be a fighting champion. Not anything to concern about, anything to worry about. And I've said the same thing about Joshua. I thought Joshua was a fighting champion. I thought Joshua got too brave for his own good in taking the rematch. I thought there was no way he could beat Usyk in the rematch, and there wasn't. Um, but Joshua Joshua did what he was supposed to do. He just wasn't better than Usyk, right? Um, and now Joshua's going to lose to Fury. You go the other way, Usyk is going to be a top you know, Usyk's going to fight everyone, and he can't. You know, if if Wilder doesn't want to fight him, which I think he will, I think Wilder fights him, but let's say he doesn't. I mean, Usyk's kind of out of options at this point, right? Like, who, who where does he go next? Who does he fight next? Because um, there's really just two guys. And remember, Usyk's a promotional free agent, so he can fight whoever he wants. Um, he's not obligated to tie down to anyone. So let me know what you guys think. He's a network free agent. You know, promotional free agent, he can fight, he can go any which way he wants. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Are you guys psyched for this fight too? Do you guys think this is a good fight? Are you into this? Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. 3D Boxing comes at you every day, 8 to 10 today, to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumor. Please also go to MCR Podcast and check out me and Matt, the Hipster Hunters Podcast. Uh, also, please subscribe to YouTube, uh, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All proceeds from that channel go to Autism Research and Recovery. It is September 16th from Texas to the world. Thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.